and welcome this back. Good, this, this is going to be a good one. <laughs> the Coffee and Chaos. <laughs> I'm Alina, your host, and I'm going to get right into my co-host today because they're already starting. <laughs> Already. So Steve's been here before. This is Steve Linares. Hello. Um, part of our San Pedro residency. Wait, is that a right, correct, proper term? Residency? Resident? Just say homie. Homie. <laughs> Homie yeah. from Pedro. Yeah. <laughs> and then Mr. Wayne Moore. Hello, local 94. Yeah, I have. There's so much we could talk about with you. Yes. I've known him since I was a kid, and we'll leave it at that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, hello. It's Solomon. How are you? Happy Sunday. Uh, happy Sunday. I'm here. I'm yeah. here. And we're early today on Sunday, so I didn't get to bring you food again. <laughs> oh, yeah, the excuses keep piling I know. Up, I might have know. to do a drive-by tonight and drop some food off. <laughs> she brought herself coffee, though. I, no, I brought him coffee, and I asked him if he wanted a coffee, Steve. Oh, I don't drink coffee. And you were supposed yeah, to Yeah, you, you did I was ask. on my motorcycle. Oh, okay. Well, Sorry, guys. Yeah. Without, his, without his keys. Yeah, without, without my keys. <laughs> <laughs> so, Steve drove here on his motorcycle and... Somehow did not bring the keys of the motorcycle. Oh, come on. Are you going to be able to start it? <laughs> to get back home? Don't make me look too bad. I mean, come on. Dunce. <laughs> <There's> <laughs> half those people are watching as a dumbass. <laughs> hey, it always happens to somebody. <laughs> okay. So today we are going to discuss, um, we live in San Pedro, the three of us. Yes. Um, we've all lived there. I know I'm like fourth generation there with our family. My kids are like fifth. And Point Furman Park, we have a big concert, uh, Music by the Sea. And it's, how long has that been going on? Uh, 27 years? 26 27 years. years. Yeah. 27 years, and it's uh, it lasts throughout July, every Sunday in July. So Yeah, actually this year we're going to start last week in June. Every, every Sunday, well, last Sunday in June, every Sunday in July, first Sunday in August. Oh, going really? six weeks, yes. And you and everybody and anybody can come because my two brothers are oh, yeah. from Wilmington, my cousins yeah. are from Wilmington. They all go. It, it's for as everybody. Long as they don't it's cause no trouble. Yes, it's for everybody. And we don't have security there, though, right? Yeah, we do. Yes, we do. Did we you have, have to. to start getting security? Yes. How long ago? Uh, I, I'm not sure. Um, but in the last, I think, seven, eight years, we started oh, getting okay. security. Yeah. You know, Is it because it's gotten bigger and bigger? And yeah. Crap? Yeah. And by law, um, with we have to get a permit through uh, Park and Rec, and they demand to have security after so many people there so yeah and and it's usually a big success right yeah i think we had over three thousand people uh every sunday last year oh wow yeah and it was um and for and for listeners and people that are watching that don't know where san pedro is because we do have some people that are not from mm -hmm. san pedro that listen um it's in los angeles california and it's at the way at the end of the freeway as we all call the way it. to the end of gaffey street all the way to the you end keep driving you'll be in the water yeah <laughs> And if, you, and if yeah. you keep swimming, you'll hit Catalina. Yep. <laughs> 26 miles away. Yeah. But, you know, Lena and, and the audience, um, this is the longest thing in Pijo that's, that's established. I mean, mm -hmm. as we know now, our whole town is starting to change. You know, we're yeah. starting to get more condominiums. The, the Ports of Call has totally changed to another view but this it's gentrified now right yeah, yeah. it's not and i'm not happy with that but, i'm not either but none, of, none of us like, that grew up there are it's yeah. it's but this right here is like everybody expects it if you're from pedro you know mm -hmm. you hear it coming when spring comes oh you're gonna go to music by the sea you know who's gonna play there and it's mostly local bands, right? Yeah, we try to keep it local. Um, security. Let's in, yeah, let's get into the uh, how you pick the bands first. Yeah. Um, me and Steve Ernst kind of pick uh, the closing band every year and maybe the third band and the rest of the bands, the, other, the, the two opening bands will be in the drawing. We try to look for people that are, are a big draw okay. and been around for a while. And um, How many bands would you say enter on an average? There's, I know there's a lot of disappointing people in the drawing because yeah, everybody wants to play there. You yeah. Know? But um, so this year we're gonna we're gonna try to get some of the bands who got left out last year and get them in this year, so that everyone gets to play. You know, and we've gone from having three bands on Sunday doing an hour and a half set to four bands, so we can get more bands in. Oh wow. And get more people in there, yeah, and and different genres of music every every Sunday. 
You know, and there's a lot of bands that people don't hear that are locally that are just really, really good. Yeah. Really good. I mean, the old bands are, that have been here for a while, they're great. They're great. Everybody knows them. But these new upcoming bands are just just as music. The music's tight. Their their sound is good. And it's just we want to expose them, too. Yeah. You know, we want to yeah. tell them, come over and... and we got this big venue and these people here, and they're willing to do it, but we only have so much time and so yeah. many days to do it. So and and, uh, and there's so much talent, in Pedro. Oh, there's a lot. My cousin Michelle's band. Um, yes. What did I say? It's her and her husband Adam. It's um, Idol X, and they've been trying yeah. to get. It's funny. It. I, we were just talking about. It. I didn't realize that was her until yeah. Yeah, and she sings. I love her voice. She has this. Uh, it's a different voice. Like I said, it's like you said, she sings the song Black Velvet really When good. she was a kid, we used to go to Johnny's house. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. I love the way she sings like the Pat Benatar song. Yeah. Like all that stuff. So I know she's trying to get in. And yes. She, she definitely, I'm the, hoping and praying she gets in this I, I talked with the, the other day, she sent me a message and I was talking to my drummer, Alex, and he's like, hey, you got to check this band out. And she sent me a message. I go, I was just talking about you guys. Yeah, so but I but on an average, is it over fifty bands that try to get in? Do you think when you have the drawing, mm. like when you have the drawing, how many do you think like put it's, in for it's it? It's probably about 40, 50 bands. Yeah, really? Yeah, it's a lot because everybody lot. wants to play there. I mean, it's it's exposure. It's yes, you know. Uh, and last year, a lot of bands uh, volunteered to play for free, which yeah. helped because it's all it's all it's all donation. So you know, and we're on a tight budget. Last year we barely made it. So you know, then half, almost more than half the bands played for free, including my band. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. And, and your uh, band is down the hatch. And I've heard you quite a few times. Yeah, and uh, you know, and it's just it's just because they want to do it. It's a it's a great exposure, and it's and know, it's fun. It is fun. It is. You get a lot of kids, a lot of families, yeah. a lot of young kids. Like it is literally. Um, it is. It obviously it started in Pedro, so it's a Pedro thing. Yes. But it has opened up so much for mm -hmm. people to just go and enjoy mm -hmm. a beautiful Sunday. And it was shut down during COVID. Yeah. And I know a lot of people were hoping that that would be the one thing that would stay open, but. It didn't happen. But no. uh, we're trying to keep it in town. Like uh, we're going to use Dante for security. Okay. Uh, he does all the security downtown. Somebody asked me yesterday because I was talking to them about it and talking about how you guys need like um, sponsors and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. And they said, I don't remember, but. Because everybody usually barbecues themselves and does all yeah. that. Have you guys ever thought about having, like, uh, the food trucks coming in, like Happy Diner and Nico's and all these places that could come and maybe help sponsor and serve their food? Well, we do have Happy Diner. Happy Diner committed himself to us. And so, I love Roman. Yeah, he, he, he's he is such, such a, a Pedro supporter. Oh, any yeah. Any which way you can find. And, and he said, okay, you know, I'll come in and. And he, um, I haven't talked to the other committee guys, but he's willing to give a percentage of what he sells per day and give it to us. Oh. So, you know, we wouldn't mind the food trucks being there, but. I don't think there's room. There's no room. There's no parking yeah. and for them yeah. because they're so huge. And we're trying <clears throat> to save the parking for, for the people that come. Yeah. So it's, it's a kind of a, a juggling thing, you Got know. It. But I don't think they would let them in the park. Uh, yeah. You have to get permits and all that stuff for them, yeah. too, right? Yeah. Right. Got all, they, all the permits are pulled and yeah. with the fire department and, and, the, and the police department and everything. Steve Ernst took care of all that. Uh, we do have our nonprofit now. So whatever money is left over, we're going to donate to a charity. You guys won't just save it until the following We year? talked about it, but we thought maybe it would be better off just to donate it, you know, uh, Donate to a charity. I mean, it's, it's and then just start over every start year. Start over every year, yeah. yeah. And then what about the restrooms? Because I know there's restrooms there, but do you guys get additional restrooms? Yes, yes. we're going to get this year. We're going to get uh, additional restrooms. We're going to get them, and they're going to be put in certain places so where you don't have to wait in line. And we're going to get handicapped too because we know the handicap likes to go there too, and it's kind of hard to wait in line. So yeah, it's it's we're trying to fit everybody in, into this. Yeah, so. I mean, not to say that the last 27 years they didn't, but we're trying to think beyond. And well, as it expands, as far as people that come, you have to make it more acceptable for yes. everybody, right? Correct. But we do need is donation. Yes. Financial donations. I mean, people don't realize how expensive and how hard it is to 
put on a show uh, for 3,000 people. Yeah. You know, there's, you have to pay the sound man, you have to pay the bands, you have to pay, you know, security, you have to pay the permits, you have, I mean, there's a, there's a large thing that we need to cover, and the only way we could cover that is financially. Yeah. And we're trying to get this going so we could, with people donating, so we could get this done. I mean, either way, we're going to do it. It's, but it's it's about five to five to seven thousand dollars per Sunday to put it on. So the bands that, because you just said right now to pay the bands, the bands that do it for free, is that hard then to turn around and have to pay another band? Like, you know what I mean? Like that has to be hard. Yeah, but I mean, you know, I mean, there's there's some guys that they're they're making their living playing music, mm. and there's other guys that it's just want to come down and play. They're just doing it for their side, their side, their hobby almost. Yeah. Like. Oh, like me last night. Yeah. We, we played, you know, that we got paid for, and I just, hey, guys, it's for you. Because I, oh, I just yeah. love, I love playing music. Yeah. And you love playing at the Elks Lodge. Yeah. That is yeah. Cool. So I, it's, but, you know, and there's a lot of bands that just want to do it because it's such a great event. Yeah. Yeah. So the one question I do have that I, I think I get worried about is you said that they tore down Ports of Call and mm -hmm. now they're building all that. And they're supposed to be an arena they're building for concerts. Yeah. Do you think in the summertime, that those concerts will affect music by the sea and take away the not at all. Pedro people are loyal. I, I, you know, I'm third generation. They are very loyal. They're loyal. And, I you know, love and, that. And that's one thing that we're we're betting on that you know, music by the sea's always been here. Everybody expects it. So you know, we're asking, okay, it's going to come. But we need help. Yes. And I know Pijo people will, will come and help. And it's not even them because, like I was saying, my cousin Monique, she's mm -hmm. from Wilmington, my brother Vincent are from Wilmington, and they come. Right. And they, they'll they be there every Sunday, and they're yeah. barbecuing, and they right. bring their kids and their grandkids, and they spend a whole – like, I'll see it. I'll be like, oh, I should have went. Oh, I – like – and then I don't because something came up or yeah, whatever. You know, yeah, but. you get people who show up four in the morning and they stake out their little. Yeah, yeah get the barbecues. Right. It's so amazing. I was a little, I was, I am a little worried that with that venue opening up, the only thing is I was thinking is that arena or venue, whatever you want to call it, it's going to open in Pedro. We'll get out of towners for that particular I was artist. Say that. Yeah, it's yeah. Well, you know that venue down there in Port Cause, it's all going to be professional. It's going to be you know mainstream bands that are coming up. We're we're not. And I'm not at happy that. about that at all. Like I like leave, go away, don't. Go. <laughs> like I know people hate to hear that, but I'm so like this is our that's, town. That's why Pedro. We, that's what made Pedro so great. It was such a small town with no. <sighs> and I'm not going to even get into the bike lanes <laughs> <laughs> or the stop sign yeah. on every corner yeah, every, now. Yeah. Oh man! Oh my! They just put a stop sign on Ninth, be right below Western. Mm -hmm. And I and it, they, it's been up maybe already eight months, nine months, and I ran it the other day because I leave my house, stop at the one stop sign, and then I fly up to Western, <laughs> and I was like, oh, oh crap! I'm like, there's a stop sign in every corner now. I know. It, I it's, know. it's it's. it's I like, remember. Hey, but the funny thing is, no one stops. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Pacific Avenue had four lanes, not two lanes. Mm. Yeah. I remember that. Again, I mean, he said, don't bring up the bike lanes. <laughs> <laughs> Only people use them are the. Speakers at 12 midnight <laughs> and they have, have a right to be in that bike lane <laughs> or and the solomon i know we're going so off right now but you know guys get back on track <laughs> driving home from work at 2 a.m on gaffy now what is the the flashing light have you ever seen that oh that's a, a pedestrian no like so all so if i'm on first and gaffy uh-huh heading towards second third fourth the light will be green or red, and then all the lights turn orange. Oh, that's the, like a caution light. Yeah. Like but stop. all of them do. It's like a stop sign. But in the middle of the night, why? Oh, because there's very just little running. traffic. <laughs> yeah, just run it. What did you say, Solomon? Because it's very little traffic. They're basically telling you, go when it's safe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, You're yeah. there, just floor it. Oh, people just people just run right through. Damn it, might as well be green. And I'm one of those. They're people. rushing towards Jack in a Box, okay? Two oh, o'clock yeah. in the morning. Oh, yeah. That's... You see 40 cars waiting in line at Jack in a Box oh, at two o'clock in the morning. Well, I never take that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys laugh, but you yeah, know. Yeah, I know true. what you're talking about. <laughs> we used to play Godbrothers every two week, every every like every other week. Oh, uh, either taco truck or God or uh, yeah. Jack in the Box. Oh, yeah, those tacos for ninety nine cents were the best. Well, I avoid Gaffy during the day for the most part. Uh -huh. 
But at night, if I work and I get off, I yeah. take gaffy because there's cameras everywhere. Right. So if I'm going to hit somebody, you're going to see it. Like I'm, <laughs> Because if I take, like, if I go up a street and go, like, through houses and stuff, there's no cameras. And there's so many, like, uh, what are they called? I don't like to call them homeless. There's so many um, homeless. vagrants. Unhoused. What would you say, Sal? Un unhoused. Is yeah, the unhoused. Um, homeless. <laughs> The hobos. The hobos. Yeah. Hobo. Yeah. Hobo. We, we used to call them hobos. Just throw rocks yeah. at them. <laughs> <laughs> remember, the, remember the viaduct by uh, yeah. Blockfield? Oh, yeah. There's a hobo down there. We used to throw rocks at him. Oh, oh you're me. <laughs> hobo. I told you so. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that hobo walking down the street. <laughs> So do you play, does your band Down the Hatch play at Godmothers anymore? No, she has no local bands there anymore. No, none. Really? No. Yeah. Well, I know that Daniel, who was on my podcast two podcasts ago, DJs. Yeah. But I don't know. She has a couple of rockabilly bands and that's it. I mean, there's really, that's the sad thing about Pedro, there's really not too many places to play anymore. It's really sad. I uh, mean, Bruco has some people that play, right? Like, yeah, but the, I mean, the stage is about the size yeah, of the table. Yeah, the stage is very yeah. small. Um, and you got El Principe on on First and Pacific, mm -hmm. which has a great stage and a great sound system. And does anybody play there? Yeah. Oh, okay. And you got, uh, what's that place, uh, the old Ramona's? What is that called? Uh, oh, uh, sardines. sardines. But yeah, oh. they're more like rockabilly kind of. Oh, okay. Not rockabilly, but like uh, punk rock, uh, uh, original artists. And there's always a uh, like ska music. They, uh, they don't. They don't really have too many local bands there, but they have. Uh, and then you got Harold's Place. Oh yeah. <laughs> so basically, it's the Al Lodge, so basically the it's Lodge to play. is like the place to play. Yeah. And that's where much. you. Yeah. And what time did you play till last night? Uh, it was a private party. We played for uh, from eight to ten, and we'll oh, be okay. there uh, September thirteenth. We'll be oh, there, okay. uh, so it's it just kind of coincides with my birthday. So it'll be a it'll be a big night. It'll be a fun one. It'll be a big night. We'll be in the main. <laughs> we'll be in the main room. It'll be a big night. Oh, okay, that's good. So let's get back on track <laughs> <laughs> because we we need to promote. This. Yes, I mean because Music, yeah yeah we're good. Yeah, because we like I said, I mean we can't do this unless we have financial donations coming to us. Well, let's go through this. Dear neighbor, music by the sea. There you go. I'm not gonna read the whole thing. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just showing on the screen. <laughs> no, but Solomon, uh, uh, um, where it says GoFundMe, the GoFundMe. Yeah. I mean, if we could get that out, um, and the Venmo, and the Venmo, and the and the well, uh, nonprofit. Maybe yeah. where it says Solomon, because I can see it, but it still blurs my glasses. A significant part of the funding for Music by the Sea comes from you, our yeah. South Bay and local San Pedro neighbors and businesses. I kind of can't read the rest. Oh, what's on the screen? I mean, people watching can see it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we're good. Yeah, so there's our Venmo and our GoFundMe. Um, we do have a nonprofit number that's on there, too. Um, it's at the tail end of the, the letter there. And um, we're just asking, I mean, anything you, you could, anything you could give will, will be a good a gesture to to keep this going for Pedro and the Harbor City. We should yeah. say a harbor area. Harbor. Yeah. Harbor. Or yeah. South Bay for the South Caucasians. Bay. Basically, yeah, for the Caucasians. For the Caucasians. <laughs> 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 well, because Mexicans say harbor area and Caucasians yeah. say South Bay. <laughs> Pedro. You guys the do surrounding that. areas. <laughs> yeah, you buddy. guys do raffles? Yes. Yes. Oh. So we do ask if you can't do it financially, and if you own a business, um, give us something to to raffle raffle off. Oh, yeah. I didn't so, know you guys did raffles. Yeah, there's so a, you guys really like um, entertain all day long. Besides the music, you guys yeah. are interjecting with everybody it, there. In, and in between the bands, uh, I mean, we got it pretty much down to a science. We got a, a stage crew. We got uh, the bands set up behind stage. When one band's done, we got guys that run everything off. Other band gets set up. You guys have a DJ in between all that? Uh, we have a sound guy, okay. uh, Willie, okay. who's great. He has everyone set up and ready to go within minutes. Oh, so there's really not that long of a... No, there's uh, there's 30 minutes in between bands. And actually, we could probably even, with Willie doing the sound, we could probably even do it uh, sooner than that. But, you know, give, give everyone a half hour, and then we have things going on in between bands to keep everyone entertained. And I'm going to be your new MC. Yep. Really? 
Yes. You're going to go back in your old, uh, my old, old shoes, days. huh? My old you're... shoes. And nice. Going where I'm going to MC in between the, um, the bands. And it, it'll be a little different than it was before, you yeah. know? I'm going to bring back the the touch to the people in, in the crowd. Yeah. And don't be surprised if I, I go out there and I talk to people. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know you know me, Lena. I mean, I'm a people person. Yeah. So I'll come up and talk to somebody that, that's been to Pijo and or been from Wilmington and stuff and bring us all together. Yeah. You know, that's you know, what we need. Everybody that donates will be acknowledged. Yes. Every every weekend. Oh nice. Every Sunday. And then we we do have Mickey Elliott has a, a memorial banner that he brings out every year. That people that actually did something for the uh, music by the sea or played there that passed away. Oh, yeah. So really we're going to bring up the banner, and he dedicated one of the trees, one of the huge trees, as the memorial tree. Oh. So we're gonna we're gonna emphasize that at at one segment of of the break, and you know these people actually took time, took effort, and took everything. To do this and help us, so yeah. you know what we yeah, maybe we have a moment of silence, we, like we do at our meetings. Yeah, yeah, that would be good. Yeah, yeah, uh, and a little bit more than that, you know, maybe a song or maybe uh, have one of their wives or some say thank you. You know, just something to to emphasize these people really helped us get to where we're at now. What was before Music by the Sea? Wasn't there another thing that was they had like a the weekend before? Or taste something? of Sam. Oh, they had a, a, a Shakespeare by the Sea. But they don't have that anymore. Well, they they they're not. In the, they're moving down the Twenty Second Street, I believe. They're not going to be at the park anymore. Hmm. So I don't. So they still do Shakespeare by the Sea. It's just yeah. Else. It's going to be down uh, on Twenty Second Street. Right. And we don't do the Taste of San Pedro anymore. No. no. Do we know why? I don't even want to get into it. Yeah. Okay. So there goes. Well, because people were asking. So. Well, they're trying to bring it up now. Like um, the person from uh, Big Nick's, um, what's his name, John? Yeah. He's trying to revise it again, but it, it's going to. And that was time. really cool. Yeah. yeah. No, that's it what, was. That's kind of what kicked off Music by the Sea was yeah. that. So, and then another question: At the end of it, at the end of every Sunday, all the cleanup. Who does all that? Because it has to be. We pay the city. Oh. And we have, well, we used to have volunteers from uh, the Beacon House. I don't think we can do that anymore. Yeah, I think the city got a little angry at that. So yeah, we so part of we pay the city to. So the city got mad because we had people coming and doing it, and they wanted we to We don't pay. know. I I'm not just, really sure. I just yeah, know that just something like, happened, and it's because that was before me and him were involved with it. Okay. So, yeah, so now we, uh, the, I know the last couple of years we had to pay the city to come clean up. Oh, okay. See, so and if you and pick up your trash, we appreciate it. Yeah, we do. We really. <laughs> and you do. know what? Out of out of just uh, love for our city, you should do it yeah, anyway. Right. Just clean up after yourself. And, and actually, uh, at the end of the day, I walk around the park, and it's it's it, for the most part, it, it, everyone picks up their trash. You know, a lot of people don't know that these all these hidden fees that come about that we have to deal with that people don't understand, and finally. Once we tell them, they go, oh, we didn't know that. Like, last year, we actually had somebody fall, and nobody was there to give aid. So, oh. so now we're going to have somebody there on site in case somebody falls or there's an accident. Like the, a medic, yeah, a yeah. medic standing by. And yeah, we actually, constantly. we had two medical emergencies last year. Yeah. So I wouldn't even think about that. I would think that if you fell, you fell on your own. Like, you're on your own. <laughs> but you get a... a <laughs> person my age or a little bit older you know yeah. falling over i mean he's not going to get up right away like an 18 year old so yeah. you know he may need some medical help so we got to bring somebody in to and see you have before. to pay for that yeah 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 so we are going to have a medical personnel standing by so it's yeah there's i mean there's a, there's a lot of fees that people don't know about yeah i would never think that yeah it's just that we that. just don't show up at the park and and let's have a you know have a party there's, there's and i think a lot of people don't even think about things so they do just think like oh let's just go show up the bands are playing and yeah you yeah. know everything's there and nobody realizes the work that's put into it there's months of planning and how long have you two been involved in it uh i think i think i've played there for the last well 2011 was the first time i played there but how long have you been on the board to, to last year last, last year was the first year i was really involved with with, with the committee yeah and you steve 
Oh, this year. This will be your first year. Yeah. But I, I do have experience with the Bloody Thursday. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did that for 12 years. So mm -hmm. I have knowledge with big concert venues. But it's I a think. huge commitment to take on for the two of you, considering yeah. that you guys also bo both work full time. Yeah. Right. And Steve Ernst has done a lot. I mean, he's he's helped Mike for the last oh, few yeah. years and, and Sissy. Okay. Yeah. So they've they've already been involved for for a number of years with helping Mike out. So they're I mean, they're really they're, we're using their knowledge to, okay. to get all this done. Yeah. Yeah, I'm right now, so Steve's our, our captain. Okay. Yeah. He's blowing that ship to the right direction, and we're just his deckhands trying to get everything in order. And, and do you guys go to a lot of the businesses and ask for donations? And Well, we're going to give them one of those flyers everywhere and see what comes about. You know, actually does that. Sissy does a lot of that. that yeah, Sissy reason. does yeah. it. She does she a lot now. In. Yeah. yeah. And I've, I've already gone around town and talked to a lot of local businesses, you know, businesses, and they're, they want to – donate and uh it would just we'll get it done even if you can't somehow some way you'll get it done we'll get it done we get it we, we get we actually raise a lot of money at the park the day of the event yeah. really yes there will be a hat that's going to be that i are going to be hanging around it kind of has going to be yeah sombrero <laughs> <laughs> No, it's going to be a pocket. <laughs> and I walk away with it. The is big enough, the bigger it is, the more money yeah. you put in there. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to be, I'll be carrying it around. And people, please put whatever you, you can in there. And actually, this, I got a, a pirate chest. Like the Mickey made me some uh, some stickers to put on for donations. The, yeah. the girls are going to have a pirate island, the, the pirate girls. So that's going to be set up over there. Nice. Yes. But let's, let's be understood. All the money we get, we, there's going to be a nodded at the end. Yes. So if anybody asks us, where's our money, we'll just give them the audit. Mm -hmm. And they'll know where the money went. That's why I'm surprised that you guys don't save it till next year and just start from mm -hmm. fresh and have to that, That's been a big topic of discussion with us. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, we, we felt being it's a community event to donate it to something, you know, a, a local charity. So. If there's anything left. Yeah, that's that's the big thing. We've, we've right? come under a couple couple years. We've come to, uh, come under budget, and uh, and if you come under budget, do you have to pull out of your own pocket? Sort of. <laughs> 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 Which we don't mind doing because it's it's something you know everyone loves doing. You know, it's just but that's something people really don't realize. They don't. They don't. You know. Don't. But and actually, this year we're going to have when the money comes in, we're going to have three people count it. So and everyone's it's going to be everything, everything's going to be accountable. Yeah. Everything's going to be legit. So everyone yeah. if you donate it, your money's not going into your pocket itself. Right. It's going strictly. You know, and a lot of people think we make money off this. I don't make money off no. this. No, this is all your, your guys is just donating We're donating time. our time, yeah. 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 It's like when we, when my group does uh, the toy drive, we don't make money. Uh, we do it out of our heart, and we do, I'm doing uh, Music by the Sea out of the love of Pedro and listening to music. But Steve, you do this and you do the Christmas toy drive. Yeah. Like at no point you don't get burnt out. I think the good Lord has blessed me to keep my my focus on that than my my personal life. You know, yeah. I know my personal life means a lot, but I have a lot going on, especially with my son in the military. Oh and yeah, that's right. He left. Huh? He left. He's in boot camp. So I, for him always. Thank you. So it keeps me away from. Thinking. Having to thinking about that. Yeah. So, and I enjoy doing. It. Yeah. I've I've done it for when, ever since I became a DJ in 1992. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I promoted in in not in Pedro, but in Redondo Beach, Manhattan Beach. Yeah. I promoted and I DJ <clears throat> for 15 years. Yeah. And it's once it's in your blood, it's in your blood. Yeah. And well, then, music and is that, just. Yeah. And that toy drive was great. I mean, I I was one of those kids at the boys' club when I was a kid, oh. getting free. You know, getting toys because you know. So we grew up. With, it was it was really good. Yeah. It was really good, and I can't wait for I'm looking it to happen to next year. Yeah. yeah, but 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 so many people in the toy drive and now in this, people don't realize it's your time, and yeah. it is your time away from. It's home, a lot right? of time, and it sometimes maybe your time also away from work. You guys are really really putting all your heart and soul into yeah. this. Yeah, but we gotta. For Wayne and I, we gotta give a lot of props to our our partner, our wives. Yeah, our wives play a good. Well, first major of all, being married role. and dealing with you too. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea. But, you know, dealing with my wife and and I know my wife's I, a saint. I, you know, 
honey, we got to go. I got to go to the meeting. What for? Oh, for music. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. You know, she could be a stickler and say, no, you can't go. But she knows that the love that we have for music and Pedro, yeah. go ahead. And I and I could probably talk the same. Yeah, so, yeah. And she she knows. I mean, she's kind of getting tired of us playing music at the house four nights a week. But uh, <laughs> but she knows this is my passion is is music, and and giving back to the community that's given me my life. Yeah, the waterfront, San Pedro. You know. So I mean, and this is. I feel I, like we're we're blessed with something that a lot of people will never understand. Oh, this, never. There, there's not, never. There's a lot of there's not a lot of communities that that have what we have. We all yeah. grew up there. We all know each other. We're all intertwined somehow. Yes. You know? We talked about how you and I. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is crazy. Yeah. It's yeah. really crazy. But yeah. music is, um, when Daniel was here and I was talking to Daniel, like, music is my whole soul. Like, I have to have music on everything I'm doing. Even last night when we went to that concert, mm -hmm. I haven't really gone out too much. And I danced from the second the music started <laughs> till it stopped. I could not stop dancing. Like, I just, and it I had such a good time. I didn't even want it to end. No. You know, dancing and music, it, it, I feel like it feeds your soul. It does. It does. It does. It, it literally does. I, I, when I DJed, I DJed at, at huge nightclubs, huge ones, like Century Club and, and Jamaica House and Redondo Beach, H2O. Um, but to see all those people dancing and you're actually playing the music is such a rush. And I know Wayne sees when he yeah. get, plays guitar and see all those people. It's just. I think itchy. music by the sea, when you're able to dance, the difference is when you're not in a club or anything, or even with us last night, like yeah. you have your blankets there, your chairs there. Mm -hmm. You could go sit down, you could have a drink, Every, you yeah, could eat, you could back has, up and you go can dance. Walk around, like, see your friends. Yes, it, it's so. It's, it's better. Um, like last night, we were standing for like five or six hours. And so at some point, my feet were killing me. We had nowhere to go sit. We had nowhere to just go relax for a second. So Music by the Sea on a Sunday, I feel like you could forget all your problems. Yeah. Set up a, a blanket, a serape, whatever you have. You're, you're, and you're going to, yeah. Just, you're going to walk good. around. You're going to see two or 300 people that you know. Yeah. And it's almost like a school reunion. Yeah. It, that's <laughs> for sure. I mean, you, you haven't seen and people for years. sometimes you see people you don't want to see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it is what it is. Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, last year I, I saw my cousin first time in almost 20 years. Really? She moved down to um, Lake Elsinore. And, you know, she's older than I am. All of a sudden, my other cousin that I was sitting with, she goes, oh, our cousin's here from Lake Elsinore. And I haven't oh. seen her. And then we started talking. And it was like a reunion. I mean, it's, it's really... And it's Amazing. the first perfect place to have it. Yes. Because even though it's hot in summer, you know, in the it's sun, nice you there. get that breeze oh, yeah. that comes in. Mm -hmm. So, and there's a lot of trees, you get a lot of shade. Yeah. Like it is literally the perfect place yeah. to have it. And then we got Carrie, uh, Carrie uh, uh, Burrich is doing all the uh, the vendors. Yeah. We got so Carrie we're gonna, Burrich. Yeah. We're, we're going to be a whole bunch of vendors. 20 there. vendors uh, every oh, Sunday. Really? Yeah. yeah. Selling, Selling stuff. stuff. Yeah. yeah. And how do they do while they're there? Do they do, they, they do pretty good? They said that they do good there. I okay. mean, Carrie right. told us it's one of the biggest, the biggest selling place for oh, them every good. year. So they yeah, do she, pretty good. Yeah, so she's a big help, too. I mean, that, that helps, you know, bring money in, too. So The place, the remember the old little uh, restaurant? Or oh, uh, Walker's. Yeah. Walker's, which is directly, it's in the parking lot, but directly across yeah. the street. What is going on with that? Like, is that going to? They've been closed. I don't know what's going to Because it's happen. all locked up, right? Yeah, they've been closed for a few years. I don't know what's going on there. Well, I heard that uh, there was a lady that was trying to make it a historical monument. Oh. So I think it passed. We had to have so many signatures. So I think they made it. But they haven't found the right person to develop it and run it. Good, because we don't want them to put condominiums or something no. or apartments or anything. Thirty too many of those. It would be, it would be, you know, good. our our town, and even Wilmington, our towns are just changing, and as us that we grew up, we miss that town. Yeah, we we love that town. I love that town. Yeah. You know, I love Pedro. I, you know, I love walking around back in the old days, going down to Fairman's Sporting Goods Shop. Or you know, <laughs> going to going to I, Waterman's right to buy our clothes, yes. you know. Yes. Yeah. Go down there and look yeah. at the grizzly, the the, the big polar bear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or, My grandma, being you know, she's dementia, she's ninety-one. She'll tell me sometimes, 
tell my dad I'll be back. I'm going to go to 4th Street. And so 4th Street, and I, I wish I knew what was on 4th Street. I remember it. Like, she'd always be like, yeah, let's down go to 4th Street. Street. Down there, all the, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. like, what's on 4th Street? Like, that's way before my time. You yeah. Know? She was younger, but that's how far back, like, we go. And I always wonder, though, like, what was on 4th Street that was so fun or exciting for her to always want to go there mm -hmm. and be down there? I mean, it's, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll I'll find out for you. No, we'll come back she, and tell you. <laughs> she stayed, stayed out of the bars. Because I always, when I was younger, she would say, you want your face to look like this still, stay out of the bars and don't smoke. Mm -hmm. That's what she always told me. So one thing I, I would guess, say... I guess we're not... <laughs> She has stayed out of the bars and she doesn't smoke. No, one out of two ain't bad. <laughs> you know, and I used to try to, sh I mean, uh, like shopping, I, I would try to keep all my, my business in town, but it's getting harder and harder. Oh, it is. Yeah. yeah. It is. Yeah, it's just getting really hard. And these are, this is one of the one things we want to preserve that we want, we want to stay in Pedro. We, we want our Pedro people mm -hmm. to come and support and represent and donations, donations, donations. Yeah. Um, if the businesses obviously are usually the ones you guys get the bigger donations from, if they yeah. can hear this and, you know, help us out. Yeah. You know, with the big businesses, we wouldn't mind them taking one, one project and run with it, like pay for the security. And then one big business pays for the, the trash. It really help us at the end with our, our foundation, or our money coming in. You know, if they just take one bit, because we're going to have to pay that out. And if they do that, it yeah. And it is tax, it's, it's, you guys are nonprofit, so they, yeah, they can write it off on their taxes too, Oh, yeah, right? that's why we have the nonprofit mm -hmm. number on there. You know, but like so you said. So all you Pedro businesses, uh, goes out to you. Yeah. <laughs> and Pedro people in, in Wilmington and in the Harbor area. We got to go fund me. Send a couple of dollars. Every dollar counts. I mean, yeah. we put money in and we put our effort in just to see this going. You know, so the stage, going. how preserved is that? Because it's an old. It's. I think it's like almost 100 years old, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, and yeah. it's still. It's still. It's actually still in really good shape. Yeah. Really. Yeah. And then and there's a big dance floor right mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Like it is. It. I can't believe that after all these years, like it still looks great. Yeah. Oh, there it is. There it is right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, that's, I mean. And the benches are still. Yeah. Yeah, they're still, everything's still intact, ready to go. I didn't realize go. it was like over 100 years old. That was yeah. renovated about, uh, I think about 15, 20 years ago. They did they did a renovation there. Oh, did they? Yeah. How do you know? Because I would hang out there. He did there. his homework. Oh, he did. <laughs> you know, you guys aren't the only ones who run San Pedro. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> He's like, I explore it all. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. But people that donate, like businesses and people that donate large money will will have banners up with their names and, and advertisement throughout each Sunday. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because we're going to have three levels of, of donations, a gold, a silver, and a brown, bronze. Uh -huh. So the gold one will have actually their names up on the side of the the stage yeah. with their uh, information and everything and believe it or not i i'm a firm believer because i see it i know we live it when we go to something like that and we see like let's just say happy diner since roman's already in it people will go to his diner yes instead of somewhere else because of that right like oh you're supporting pedro you're supporting longshoremen's i'm going to go eat or go buy or whatever from that person right so it does come back to them yes too. yeah and that's the way pedro is he just says, you know, if we're going to help, they're going to help us, we're going to help you, yeah. you know? And and that's what we need, you know? Roman, when we, I called him, we were in a meeting, I called him, hey, Roman, can you do this? No problem. Tell me when. But he's a smart businessman, I feel like. He knows I'm loyal to you, you're going to get me customers, right? right. And, and what does that mean? That means he's going to make his money. But yeah. we all got to admit, yeah. Roman's food is very good. I will say nobody has topped his chilaquiles. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the They're girls, good. The girls already know when I come in, they know my order. They're like, <laughs> half an order of green chilaquiles. Look, he's Look. destroying your... <laughs> Breaking your set over here. Oh, man. Solomon? <laughs> <laughs> Cut him off. Time Cut him off. You're out of here. 86. Almost, almost done it again. Get out, get you're, out of you're here. You're too big, Wade. <laughs> I know. No, that's not water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. 
I've had that lamp for 15 years. And it's wow. Gonna... That is a key oh, word. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On that note, I think we're, uh, <laughs> we'll wind it up. So Music by the Sea, it's starting the last weekend in June. June through July and the first weekend in August. Yes. And what time does it start? Sunday. Uh, 11. 11. I think first band starts at 11.30. Yeah. 11.30 to 5. 11.30 to 5. Okay. Or 11 to 5. I, and I can't remember. as much as we all go and listen and support, our biggest thing is we need donations. Donations. Yes. Any, as little as possible, as big as possible. Right. Every um, dollar counts. And I'll make sure we put this on my, my Instagram and the Coffee and Chaos Instagram mm -hmm. also. Um, so everybody listening, that's your cue to also spread the word too. Don't just hear it. And maybe if you just donate, that's it. Tell people about it. You know, we can have some of those printed too. So people know what it is that they're, how they can do it. The yes. GoFundMe, the Venmo, all that stuff. Yes. So we'll, yeah, we'll be posting that on social media and. All righty. Yeah. And yeah. you know what, Nina? Hmm. If you want to, we're giving out the invitation. Maybe you could go live there on one Sunday. You know what? You know what's it's funny is when I do this, like I tell you, I'm not shy or nothing. We could do it, but like when I did it, even for the Christmas thing, or I told you last night. Will you get around people? Uh, yes, yeah, some last night, some girl was like, "Are you Alina?" And I was like, "Yeah." She's like, "I wash." I got so embarrassed and like I don't like <laughs> I don't like outside public attention. So like it took a lot out of me to do the Christmas one, but I actually had fun. So I would definitely will come and do it. Mm -hmm. Um, I just have to like. Work up the courage. <laughs> well, we could keep you alone in, you know, no, one little I, stage I, I, area, I, I, and you could do all your. Or like you yeah. could set up a little thing off the yeah. side of the stage. Yeah. And I just think here Solomon has it like it's so comfortable, <laughs> it's so easy. It's like we're just, you know, chit chat, and like it's you forget that the cameras and everything are yeah. going. So, yeah. but, but the invitation is open. I would love that, and I will yeah. take you up on that. Yeah. Thank that, you very that, much. That would be really cool, actually. Yeah. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah. So people that thinking about coming. We'll look at your podcast and say, hey, that's really cool. Let's go. You and know? how many Sundays is it total? So they'll know. It's going to be six. six. So it's six total Sundays. Yes. Nice. And they're all local bands around the area. And if we don't get you, we'll get you next year. Yeah. And that's why I said we're going to, some of the bands that got left out last year, we're going to really try to get them in this year. So. Yeah. We, we're going to try to help out everybody music-wise and people-wise, you know. Okay. Everything from country to to funk. Yeah, to we even had a Christian, band, a, I think, a couple of Christian bands oh, last year. Oh, nice! Yeah. 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 No, I gotta go for sure. Then I love my Christian music. <laughs> One quick question before we go: I didn't think about this. Can people bring barbecuers and barbecue? Yeah. I thought they always could before. I wasn't sure. I wanted yeah. to make sure. Yeah, okay. you can bring your own barbecue, but please clean up, clean up whenever you got to do it. Clean up, but if you don't, and if you come and you just bring a chair, Roman will be there with Happy Diner. We gave him free access to to what he wants to cook and everything. So whatever he cooks, it's all good, yeah. you know. And you can. He's write. probably gonna have a line. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's all gonna be for the the public, uh -huh. and you know, like I said, Wayne and the committee is not making one red cent. This is all volunteer. That yeah. what we love to do, and like I said, this is. Are the we? last Dean and Pijo that, that's been alive for 27 years. Yeah. You think about it, there's nothing lasted this long in Pijo. No, Fisherman's Fiesta's gone. Yeah. Now Taste of San Pijo's gone. Yeah. yeah. You know, right. I'm sorry to say, Mary Star Fiesta is not the way it used to be no, either. No, that's changed. I haven't been there in years. I don't yeah, know. that's changed. But this is, that was for more little kids. This is for us, for adults, to go in and join together as Harbor area people and and enjoy the day. The one thing, the few times that I've been there that I love is seeing all the lowrider cars, all the Harleys. Like everybody comes out, and I don't mean show off in in a, in a cocky way, but they come, they show off their cars, yeah, their bikes, right. like everything they've worked hard for. They get to just go and relax mm -hmm. and have a really good day. That's what we want. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys for coming. Yeah. Well, thank and you. Hopefully, having we us. spread the word, and hopefully, we get everything we need. I'll buy you a new lamp. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> you heard that, Solomon. You got that on tape, right? Well, we, we, we probably got some other things to talk about. Off the <laughs> uh, actually, I, I'm going to talk with Alina. We'll figure out a way maybe we can get the studio involved and get some support that way, too. So, oh, we nice. can. thank you, Solomon. Nice, Solomon. You're yeah. going to have to come out on a Sunday and hang out with all of us. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. All that's right. what I'm thinking. Oh, maybe you and I can do it together then. Oh, that'd be uh, awesome. That, that's what can I'm you thinking. Set up a uh, like a mobile. Uh, yeah, that's what I think he was yeah. saying. Yeah, yeah, that'd be there cool. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Solomon. Well, well actually, everybody in PJ already knows you anyway, <laughs> Solomon. <laughs> well, we'll pick, yeah, we'll pick a Sunday because yeah. it's, it's yeah. believe it or not, it's the busiest day for podcasts. But well, know. Solomon, bring some headshots so you can sign them and, and hand them out. <laughs> 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 I heard you're really popular. <laughs> wow. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> look at he's blushing. I, know. <laughs> I am not blushing. <laughs> <laughs> all right well thank you guys so thank much thank you for having us um please follow my tiktok my instagram coffee and chaos this is on youtube apple Podcasts, spotify i've gotten a lot of more comments um please keep bringing them i've gotten a lot of people suggesting i have like a list now of people suggesting of what they want to see on oh yeah we did a pet peeves one and i'm gonna do a take two but it's pet gonna peeves. be pet peeves or common sense <laughs> <laughs> So we have a wow. little, yeah. yeah that's I good. want to be here for the comments. <laughs> yeah. Make it make sense. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much. Yeah, have a happy so Sunday. Yeah, All right, you bye. Too. Until All right. next time. Bye, Solomon. Bye, bye. everybody. Bye. bye. I've gotten